Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit learn about flow variables from the module flow basics. So here, uh, this is the last unit of this module and uh, the first three units are basically quiz based so you can complete that on your own. So here we will be covering uh, the practical or uh, the implementation based on the flow uh, in this unit's challenge. So here, uh, this is simple, uh, just we have to create a flow variables of different data types. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground, which I've already done over here, go to setup. And once the setup is loaded, go to quick find and just type for flow. Here you will find that this filtered option by the name flows. Just click on this and it will open up the flow builder for us uh, or the list of the flow uh, where all the flows that are present in our org. So this gives out the list of the flows. Now, in order to create the flow, you have to simply go to new flow. We have to create a new flow uh, for this challenge. Now this is going to open up the flow builder for us. Now here we are going to create different uh, flows or variables and everything, whatever logic we want to implement in our flows. So uh, as per the challenge, we have to create a screen flow. So just select this one. There are other options as well, like record triggered flow platform, schedule triggered and auto launch flow. We're not going to talk about this in this video, uh, just the screen flow uh, based on the challenge. Just click on create. Now here we have to create the variables uh, specified over here. So as you can see, uh, it is mentioned that we have to go for screen flow. Then there are four variables, uh, I'm sorry, three variables are there that we have to create. So let's copy the first name, uh, which is API name is Boolean. So I will just copy this and we have to create a Boolean variable. So let's go back to a flow builder. On the uh, far top left, you will find that there is this icon just beside select elements. So select this icon over here and just click on new resource. This will open up the layout for us where we have to select what type of resource we want to create. So as per the challenge, we have to create a variable type of resource. So I will select this. In the API name, I'm going to just paste the uh, name which I've copied from the challenge and the data type we have to select Boolean. Here, default value as specified in the challenge has to be global constant false. So this specific, this will specify that the variable of type Boolean, which we are creating, will have a default value as false. That is, the variable will be unchecked. The value of the variable will be unchecked. Now here, just simply click on done. So this will create the uh, first variable for us. Now moving on to the second one is we have to create another variable uh, which will be of type number. So again, the API name is given over here. Data type is number, decimal is zero. So decimal places, we have to keep it zero. So let's go back to our flow builder, click on new resource again. Resource type is again going to be a variable. API name, I'm going to paste it from the challenge in the text area and the data type has to be number. So just select this number. Here, this decimal places option uh, or the text area is coming up. Instead of two, just uh, keep zero. Other than that, we do not have to make uh, many such changes. Just click on done. So this will create another variable by the name number. Now moving on next is we have to create a formula type of a uh, resource. Uh, so the API name we have to give is number formula, data type will be number and decimal place has to be zero. So I will just copy this API name and we will go further with the formula once I create the resource. So go back to your flow builder again, click on new resource. Now this time the resource type will be of formula because we have to create a formula in order to uh, store value in this resource. So API name, I'm just simply going to paste in the API name text area. Data type here, uh, we have to just select number. Now decimal places as specified has to be zero. The resource, what we have to, uh, in the formula, what we have to do is we have to subtract 100 from the number variable. So number variable was the one which we just created a few minutes back. If you will just notice, this was the second variable which we had created number. So we have to subtract 100 from this number resource. So it will dynamically fetch the value which whatever we will be entering into this number uh, resource or the uh, field uh, or the variable. Uh, and uh, it will just subtract 100 from it. So how we can do that in, in the uh, insert a resource uh, search bar over here, just select this and you will find under variable section, there is this variable coming up over here, number. So select this, 
Now here we have to subtract 100 from it. So go to your select operator, select an operator uh, drop down, And from here, if you'll scroll to the bottom, there is this uh, subtract option coming up here. Or you can just directly put this subtract sign here. There are functions as well, uh, which are not required uh, as far as this challenge is concerned. So we are not going into that but uh, you can just explore all the functions that are available inside this resource formula. Now, here we have to simply subtract 100 from it. If you just click on check syntax, this will show it is valid. Now, number field is dynamic. This will be dynamically fetched. If it is uh, 200, the number of variable contains the value 200. It will subtract it from 100. Uh, it will subtract 100 from it, and the return value will be stored in this resource which has name the number formula so that's all uh, just click on done and the three variables or the resources we have created over here to our type of variable and one is formula type so let's go back to our challenge uh, and the name of the flow that we have to give is variable so i will just copy it from here go back to your flow builder and click on save so this will ask you to enter the name of the flow, the label, basically. So I will just paste this in the label text area. Flow API name will be auto-populated. That's all we have to do over here in this save flow section. Just click on save and this will create a flow. Here you will notice that there is this warning coming up. Uh, so this is not our concern as far as this challenge uh, is uh, to be considered. So. Uh, here, this warning is coming up because we haven't added any of the uh, element over here. We have just created the formulas, and this is the only requirement which has been mentioned in our challenge. So these uh, formula, these uh, type of resources, we uh, we can use in any of the elements if we move further apart from this challenge. So you can use them in these. Uh, elements but this is not our case so i'm just going to save it and let's go back to our challenge and check if we have passed all the parameters and requirements as per this challenge so let's just wait uh, for it to check out There you go. This unit as well as this module is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.